Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on a blue under eye, and I know it's been so long since I recorded, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl um, foundation. It's lighter than my skin complexion, so I'm gonna use it as a concealer, and I'm gonna use it to conceal all the dark spots on my face. I can't do nothing about the pimple. I wish that like you put something on it, it could soften it up, but throughout this whole video, y'all gonna see Betty Boop there. But yeah, I'm just gonna use it as um to hide the dark spots on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Foundation. And you guys, I love the spatula. I love the um, easy application with this. Because usually I use my fingers. But, like, I hate making it a big mess. But this makes it, like, a little mess, you know? And I usually use Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. But every time I go to the store, I can never find my color. So then I finally, like, went with Black Radiance. And they have, like, more of my skin tone. And I love this foundation because it has like a matte finish. And I was kind of surprised with that because it doesn't say on it matte finish. And um, so I thought it would be like glossy and stuff. So I thought I had to put like a lot of powder foundation on top. But I didn't have to really put a lot. I didn't, honestly, I didn't put any powder foundation. Just, you know, um, my setting powder and I was ready to go. So. Okay, guys, quick disclaimer. You guys are going to hear my daughter a lot. She's watching Spongebob, but she gets a little bit too excited when she watches him. So I am going in with my LA Girl um, foundation again as a concealer, and I'm using it um, to conceal my under eye. I do have a concealer that I had picked up, but it started, I don't know how to pronounce it, and I got it from Walmart, and I just didn't like it because um, it would make my setting powder clump up, so no. But yeah, I'm just going to use my LA Girl um, foundation again as a concealer. So I did pick up the Wet n Wild um, contour stick, but I thought it was like a dark brown, but it ended up being like a light brown. So I didn't really conclude that in the um, video of me putting it on because like if you guys can see, it's like lighter than the foundation. So I was just like, no. So I'm just using my um, con contour kit and um, contouring out my nose, contouring like the places where I put it, but it still kind of didn't match well with the... Um, with the brown contour I was doing so you guys might see like a light like a lot of lightness where I put, put that and like this is why I like I need help with makeup a little bit because I try to pick up products I think I know and then like it ends up failing in the end I like it kind of like annoys me because makeup is not always you know inexpensive and you know you always want to get your money's worth and I really hate when I think I'm going to get my money's worth and it ends up failing me at the end so um I think I'm going to have to take a trip to Ulta and having them help me out, pick out good products and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me um, setting powder to set under my eyes. And you guys, I love this setting powder. At first, I did not like it. But the reason why I didn't like it is because I put it on as a with um, a wet beauty blender. And when I did that, it did not allow me to blend. So I was like, first of all, don't even blame the setting powder. It's you, girl. Get it right. Get it right. And um, I did it with next time with, like, you know, with my usual um, brush. And I love, like, the, the finish it did with my under eye and stuff. Like, y'all, I recommend the setting powder. If y'all don't have it, go cop it. And I'm using the Wet n Wild um, highlighter. Um, I, I will put everything in the description box. But I use that with my finger I'm, and you see, like, me just blending it out. I do like it, but um, I have to, like, pack it on for it to, like, really show. So maybe I'm not doing it right or, you know, maybe it's just not popping to me. But, you know, I'm still learning in this makeup thing. And if you guys watch, ever watch any of my other videos, I am not aspiring to be a makeup artist. I'm, um, you know, I want to be a nurse. But makeup, I love to do it. Like, I like the finishing product and stuff like that. So, I'm still learning, y'all. If y'all got any, like, you know, pointers, put them in the comments. Help me out, y'all. But, yeah. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to use my e.l.f. setting spray, and honestly, I am not the biggest fan of this stuff, but this is all I have, but I am going to be on a hunt for a really good setting spray, inexpensive, I know the Wet n Wild one is really good, and oh, y'all, I love NYX, so hopefully I can get my hands on a lot of NYX products, but yeah, this is just me setting my face. Okay, the palette I'll be using is the CoverGirl palette for my under eye. But before I get into that, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline palette and use that brown to um, soften up my crease. Just put some definition on my um, upper lid, but I'm not going to go into too detail with that. Okay, guys, before I go into anything else, I'm going to use my Ready, Set, Lashes from Tarte. And I love how it um, co coats my lashes. It really gives my um, lashes definition. You really can't tell in this video, but I do recommend this mascara if you guys don't have it. Okay, y'all, let's go into the fun part, y'all. The moment we all been waiting for. All right, let me calm down. But I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl palette. And I'm going to start off with the dark color. And you guys will notice, like, after a while, I'm, like, trying to build it up. And I didn't really get the color I really wanted. And I liked it, but it started to just look too dark. So then after that, I went in with the teal color just to brighten up a little bit. And after I did that, y'all... Let me tell you, like, it just gave me so much life. Like, I was like, girl, who is you? But, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to go in with the teal color, as you guys see. Because it just was coming off a little bit too dark. And I didn't want it dark, dark. Because, um... It, I didn't want it to look like a smoky, smoky eye. I wanted to, like, I wanted you guys to be able to see the color. And the teal on top of that dark blue really brought out the blue more. You can see the teal, but it made the blue, like, pop. And, you guys, I have brown eyes, like, dark brown eyes. Like, y'all, like, mm. I don't even know what to say. But I was just so hype about this tutorial because I'm so nervous about doing new things. But, y'all, yes, I'm looking like, girl girl so after i like got the color i wanted i just used this um wet and wild white eyeliner just to bring everything all together
Okay guys, um, the lashes I will be using are the Lash Contour, the Falk Mink Collection from KISS, y'all. These lashes gave me life, and they had like different styles too. I do recommend you guys go get these. Um, I could pick these up from Kmart, but I think Walmart might, Walmart might have them. Um, this was the first time I saw them, so... Um, I don't know if it's like limited edition or, or not, but listen, I'm telling y'all to get these lashes because they are life. And like, if y'all don't want to pay $30 for like, you know, the mink ones, these really are a good substitute for that. Okay, guys, to complete the whole look, I'm going to use my 560 Raw Chocolate Maybelline um, lipstick. And um, I start off like kind of really light because like if I go on too hard with it it's gonna come off like a really strong nude and I don't want that I don't want like ashy lip like so and that's it and that will be like the end of my video okay guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned for my next video i will be doing a ipsy bag giveaway and there's going to be a little twist to that please make sure you guys subscribe like and comment below and see you next time